it's been about a week and a half since I posted this last video, and well, they didn't do the paperwork, and they're now telling me there's been an additional backup. I also got a, um, comp er, a comment down below by rtaphorn6113 saying, if you do your FAFSA earlier, you will not have to wait in line. My FAFSA was done several months ago, and I'm a returning student. Now, I'm pissed. So, I'm going to show you a couple of videos from my upcoming, I guess you could call it YouTube documentary, that it's going to be exposing this financial aid department. Here's a clip. I'm going to be high-def high or anything. So what's your name? Brittany James. Hi. Hello. So what brings you to the financial aid line today? Well, um, I was going to go to the University of Long Beach, and I sent in all my, all my papers and everything, and they processed it, and um, they sent me like my confirmation saying that I was eligible and that I was going to be getting a check and how much I was going to be getting. And then I decided to come here, so I transferred all my information over. Mm -hmm. um, and now they're saying that they don't have everything and that it's incomplete. And I called the financial aid office today, um, like the head financial aid office, and they said that everything is processed and that everything should be okay, but it's just like a matter of how they're doing things here, so I need to go talk to them. And it's like the same for my sister, like her, they said her file is incomplete either, so. So the University of California, the University of California system told you your file's complete, complete, but then this financial aid office told you it's That's not complete. not complete. And they said that like every, that I should, that I'm eligible, that everything went through, and that I should be be receiving a check and everything. But here they say that I need to bring in like other papers and stuff, like like my parents' tax information. But I sent all that stuff to Long Beach, and so it should already be in the system. But now they're saying that I have to bring it in again. Disturbing. Yeah. And uh, like every time I call here, like call their financial aid department, they never answer the phone or anything. So, <laughs> yeah. The girl's going through a similar problem, a little bit different, but, you know, for all the same, trying to deal with, bu with the bureaucracy and the paperwork and the, the staff doing things that we're not allowed to. So, after I checked in with her, guess what happened? And she said, hmm. So what just happened? Um, so I went in the financial aid, to talk to the lady about my financial aid, and she said that in the next few weeks we should get an award letter saying that we're going to get financial aid and then we'll bring it back here and then they'll send out the check. But I'm wondering, like, our financial aid has been filled out like so long ago, months ago, why are they just now sending out letters? There was no way they could check in the computer. No, she said it, it, as long as the account is complete, then in a few weeks we'll get a letter. And then we bring the letter back here and then that's when they send you a check out. So we have to wait weeks to, to receive a letter and then come back in and talk to them again. I realize now that I'm not the only one be facing these problems, that I'm going to say there are probably hundreds of students in the school that are going through the same drama. So it's going to be a little bit, but I'm going to be posting a nice long video with all of the information that I've gathered and several students' stories regarding what's happening at this college. Stay tuned.